Anyways, so we're finally into top eight. Uh, we're seeing Locust <laughs> versus <laughs> Let's Tickle. Uh, historically, we haven't actually seen this matchup that much. Uh, Locust being sort of absent in the end of BC Smash 4. And, you know, they haven't really played an ultimate so far. So I'm excited to see what Locus's Ryu can do against his, uh, his Inkling. Getting Nair strong down tilt to uh, Tatsu. That was very nice. Instead of going for Jab Jab Shoryu, he didn't want to, uh, to just... Anyways. Yeah, there we go. We're seeing him just pretty much only go for Jab Jab Shoryu in these situations. Again, instead of getting Jab Jab Shoryu for damage, he doesn't want to stale his kill move, so he's opting to go for Triple Jab instead. I'm very surprised we aren't seeing as many uh, strong up tilts from Locus. Because that move got a very big buff in this game. Well, already we're seeing it right now. Getting Roller F Smash. Let's Tickle has actually brought this back fairly well. Uh, if Locus just gets a bit of damage, I, I would not be surprised if he could win this entire game. Since Ryu is very volatile. He can just jab, jab, sure you can, and just kill. Auto turn around, letting him turn around and get that Tatsu. Creating a late nair with fair from Inkling. I think he messed up his confirm there. He got jab one into uh, red Hadoken. Yeah, there we go. Jab one into Shoryu. This game's pretty much even. Locus at max ink right now though. Yeah, getting a quick 90%, 110. I think one more roller from Let's Tickle and that's gonna be the game, yep. Roller up smash gonna take it. Let's Tickle up one game. If you didn't know, this set is best of five. So, we're probably gonna be seeing Locus do a couple character switches. Already, we're seeing Locus's Ridley come out against Let's Tickle's Inkling. We most likely will not see Let's Tickle switch from Inkling, since he doesn't really play that many other characters in this game. He plays the occasional Corrin, but he doesn't really like that character in this game. Uh, it's been shown that Locus really likes Ridley on Lilat for some reason. I guess we're seeing it right now. That's, that's really wacky. He just keeps hitting him with up and up air under the stage. Up tilt to up air. You know, Locus really makes Ridley look like another character.
Yeah, this game not going as fast as the prior game, but I really understand what Lucas really wants to do in this game. Both Let's Tickle and Locust are fine to play a bit more campy. Up throw, up air, and the stocks are even again. Getting the standing up taunt. Again, Locust just trying to mess with the other player's mentality. Matching out of that roller relatively well. I like that. Let's take we'll taking game two. I would not be surprised to see Locust switch to Dr. Mario. But I don't know. Back to Ryu, actually. Two, one, go! I'm not sure how I feel about this uh, this town and city pick. On one hand, it makes Inklings up throw up air uh, harder to get, but also Ryu's Ryu's sure you confirms will kill a bit later as well. That was a really nice parry, but not actually able to get off anything. Back air, even though he was at pretty high percent. Back air to forward are going to be doing 35, but I'm not sure if Locus can actually bring it back. He's he's an entire stock down, but he's really trying to bring it back. Yeah. 
Back air into jab, jab, true Shoryu. Very nice. You know, I might have been wrong about Locust not being able to bring this back. But I think very soon, Roller into forward smash will kill. Oh, almost dying to that. And up air gonna take it. Let's tickle taking it over focus. Alright, Locus Rio. 